architects suggest several crucial principles in successful planning and building, such as using standard materials creatively, building in phases, and designing something that you'd want to own for a long period of time. In building a house, there are three distinct layering steps, and you can see those on the slide on the screen. The process of planning and writing a book shares many of the same principles as home building. When an author builds a story, he doesn't need fancy tools. He just needs to creatively use the tools that he has to come up with his own unique design. He writes what he knows and feels. Um, when building a story in phases, you're adding layer upon layer and making sure that the layers cohere. Now, this is the most logical and productive way to complete a story. In building a story, there are, there are also three distinct layering steps, which you'll see on this slide. In this tutorial, we'll focus almost entirely on the story plan checklist created in stage two, along with creating a synopsis based on this checklist. From first draft to finish novel includes all three stages if you want to know more. Um, and additionally, you can go even further in depth with stage one in my book, First Draft in 30 Days, and the tutorial based on that book, First Draft Outline, which all are available from Writer's Digest book. Without layering, a story is flat, unbelievable, and just plain boring. But with proper layering, the characters will become absolutely realistic, lifelike, and exciting. Layering means strength in story building, just as it does in house building. Stronger plots, suspense, intrigue, emotions, motivation, just stronger everything. And that's more reason for editors to love you and for your readers to come back again and again. Layering has another component that writers should take into account. Layering a story produces cohesion between all of the story elements. The word cohesive brings to mind many concepts. The act or state of uniting and sticking together, of or pertaining to the molecular force within a body or substance act, acting to unite its parts. And I particularly like that last part because it so perfectly describes what happens when all the elements of your story fit together. Um, it's like some elemental force draws each part of the story together and fuses them until they become one and they're unable to be separated. So a builder knows the best supplies to use to, to produce a sound house just as plumbers and electricians follow the guidelines and regulations of their professions. And a home builder would never put something together that are, that's grossly at odds when they're together. His job is to create something that's pleasing to the eye and perfectly suited to the individuals in the home. And in the same way, the three main story elements of character, plot, and setting have to be cohesive and work together in such a way that taking away a single element would be impossible because they've all become seamless and part of each other. So cohesion needs to start immediately, even during the brainstorming phase, and it's crucial that it be maintained throughout the pre-writing and outlining of your story. Characters should blend in naturally with your setting, just as your plot needs to be an organic part of your characters and setting. Um, and if a story doesn't work, it's probably because your story elements aren't cohesive. In this tutorial, I'll show you how each element depends on the other two and how to mix them until they fuse irrevocably. <laughs> 